have new throwing knives and they're really fun you just want to throw when you hold it I really like them but the problem is the idea of throwing daggers is utterly stupid in combat mm. welcome to Shadowversity why are we here <laughs> We're going to do a whole video on knives. I think uh, you got to take my opinions already on it, but I'll be explaining why and everything. But see, I think that's why they just got popular. They're fun, but oh, yeah, they're not good in combat. That's the, the nunchuck thing. They're fun, but they're crap in combat. I'm nunchucks. And, and it looks like people admire the skill it takes to get the timing and the spin right to get it to hit. It's a fun hobby. It's fun, but not practical. Yeah, yeah. We should start. Yeah. Where's the where's Jeez, the Jeez, let's, let's all try working for Press a living, report. eh? <laughs> I can talk. So what are we doing first, aren't we? You need sort of thing. Oh, oh yeah, we've got Obi-Wan. I've also got this marble if you want to do that one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I have so many Muslim jokes for it, please. <laughs> oh, it's already open. If you go to... What have I pressed? What have you, I done? Use Chrome. What have I done, Nathan? Use Chrome. That's, That's Firefox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that wasn't yeah, yeah. open. Do you close it? Sometimes I forget Shad's a boomer. And then... Group resource. We'll just, we'll just, just let Nathan take over. Oh, damn. oh look go. at that, look at that. Look at that. Nathan does it in one button press. It didn't show that Firefox was open. Oh, you're like Joe Biden with that computer. <laughs> Anyway, we haven't even done an intro yet. Full screen. I don't have any head on. <laughs> Better than my high school uh, teachers. Are you trying to imply I'm somehow retarded? No. Good. That would be true. <laughs> you're always, you're the literally. Truth. You're <laughs> always so calling me retard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Did you just think about Anne Frank when you said that? Like, why are you so sad all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know. You okay? I'm a, bit you okay? I'm a bit tired. Okay. Well, I haven't had do much you want some sleep. sugar? I was up until 3 a.m. last night. Yeah, that'd do it. That'd do I it. I went to bed at 10 last and night. And I've got throwing daggers. You know, if you can't behave with those, I'll take those away. <laughs> we have a job to do. <laughs> I don't think I trust <laughs> I do fear what'll happen if I try to take them away from you. This is sharp and pointy. I like to cut things with them. <laughs> Greetings, I'm terrified. And today, <laughs> we're talking about Obi-Wan, the trailer. We're going to watch oh, it. Oh boy, this one. Mm. I tried to do a pun there, see. So, cup, we're going to react to the trailer. I purposely haven't seen the trailer because I want to get my live reaction. Right, yeah, but I know yeah. there's already been memes. People, oh, memes. Yeah. like, there's like a golden, you know, the the, the, the where he looks through something. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you see something in the distance. Yeah, yep. it's been memed to the binoculars. But I am impressed at how utterly dismissive people are in Australia. Because I like, we just don't care. Disney has ruined everything. Yeah. Once upon a time, this would have been holy crap. An yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi series. We said that before when we were doing the Halo trailer review. Yeah. We were like, if you told me ten years ago we'd be getting a, a Star Wars TV show, Obi Wan TV show, a Halo TV show, I would have pissed my pants. Yeah. But now, but it's like you know, it's like getting a wish from the devil. It's like <laughs> he gives it to you, but it's the worst, worst. possible interpretation <laughs> that, that you could think of. It's a, it's like that. I have no um, positive expectations for this Obi Wan show at all. Yeah. With how crap. Mm. Star Wars has been. Star I have that, but for the rest of the future of humanity too. I know how you feel. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the this is what I'm expecting. The, like, and uh, we're taking this as off of uh, Disney's track record at the moment, mm. and that is uh, Book of Boba Fett. And uh, we've got to see your guys' review on how great that was. <laughs> I, looking back now, I think we went mentally insane because by the end we were showing our feet and like doing other dumb stuff because we're like, there's nothing else to talk about. We literally started stripping naked. Yeah, like... 
<laughs> That's what that show did to us. I knew I should have reviewed those videos before I allowed publication. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we blurred everything. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, but then, Mandalorian, I, I hope people are starting to see through the um, the keys that they were jangling, which is the fan service, and just to see how unbelievably bad that writing was. Uh, this is the thing, I actually enjoyed Mandalorian. Uh, I fell for it as well. Mm. But I was able to acknowledge that this is really terrible writing, even though I was enjoying the production value, um, the concept of it. I like the concept of a you know, bounty hunter and things. And then, of course, Disney's other forays into TV shows, like um, WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, the, what was the really bad one recently? That of, uh, oh, that's a, oh, Loki! That's that, a but the, the Loki, Loki was kind of... But there's another one. What was, what was There was it? Hawkeye as well, but... Like, I watched the first two, three episodes. Got further than me. And I, I just didn't care. <laughs> That's, like, if a show is just so meh that nothing grabs you to make you want to keep watching. Whew. Even Jeremy Renner while filming it looked like he wanted to die. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's also been What If and the amazing contradictions and crap that they've thrown into it. Like, the <laughs> Mind Stone was able to cut Thanos in half with a big <laughs> single thing. What if Ultron just cut Thanos in half? <laughs> like... Oh, oh, sure, it, it okay, happens. was that it? You could just defeat... Oh, and also, the uh, Infinity Stones work in other realities. Yeah. Like, they are fully powered. So, you know when Loki, in his TV show, there, there's the yeah. drawer of Infinity Stones? Each one of those could destroy realities. You just take... Uh... Yeah. Disney sucks! They can't... Yeah. Can't... <sighs> <clears throat> What's the most recent Marvel show? It was Hawkeye, but there was a... Was there, an, was there another No, that's one? been the... Well, the next one's going to be Miss Marvel. Oh, that's a TV show? Is that a show? TV show? Yeah. I thought it was going to be a movie. TV show. That just keeps getting downgraded and downgraded, <laughs> and I love it. They're like, they realise that everyone hates Brie Larson, and I can kind of see why. She's a bit of a... It starts with a B, let's say. Yeah. Uh, and they thought, <laughs> who's popular now? Ah, uh, Muslims. <laughs> More popular than Brie Larson. Dude, Muslims are blowing up right now. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Oh. Oh. That one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for the... Uh, we'll save any more for the... Um, Miss Marvel trailer, which I was supposed to talk about. <laughs> Obi Wan. <laughs> Obi Wan. Yeah, we're not. We're, let's not talk about. It. We're talking so, about desert people here. You know, <laughs> not Muslims. So other like worries I have with Obi Wan, right? Is they're gonna screw up. The lore, they don't care about canon and everything. If Obi Wan's supposed to be in hiding, and so if it's going to be <clears throat> just leaving Tatooine, mm. there's a problem. Like, uh, and if he goes to something as popular as Coruscant, where he was this famous Jedi, and you would assume that there's recording devices everywhere, like it was the Empire around, yeah. There. And the Empire, what they're still actively hunting Jedi's, yeah. And then you have this guy wearing a hooded robe as. Looks exactly like a Jedi, and is in hiding, and he goes off planet to Coruscant. I guess. Yeah. Well, well, like I said, I haven't seen the trailer, but I've seen screenshots, and already I'm like. Do you know how he could easily prove he's not a Jedi? Someone comes up to him, "Are you a Jedi?" No. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy next to him is just like, "Huh." <laughs> Um, so other other things that are turning me off the series, you know, you and McGregor kind of liked him as an actor, but as a person, he's been a bit douchey lately. Like he was in um, uh, what was it, uh, the Birds uh, of Prey movie, and yeah. it was like this is going to be a feminist movie, girl well, power. To be fair, like he kind of has to. It's part of the gig. <sighs> Doesn't mean that we can't. They get annoyed at that crap. You can, but let's just especially when honest. they no. But uh, it didn't even go. I I haven't seen the direct quote, so maybe uh, you know this wasn't ascribed to him. 
But I got the vibes of, uh, you know, if you don't like our films, you're a misogynist kind of thing with the Birds of Prey stuff. He also cheated on his wife. Well, let's separate art from artist. Trump cheated on his wife and they're more than happy to be like, yeah, go Trump. That's a scummy thing. It's a scummy yeah, thing. Sure. And so I haven't seen many other things that make like, redeem him lately. And so, I don't know, I'm just not so crash hot on you and McGregor these days. To be fair, yeah. it's a lot harder to not cheat on your wife when everyone's trying to f*** you. <laughs> like everyone's trying to screw you and McGregor, excuse my language. Only if you're a weak man who has no morals. Um, everybody is weak, and everybody no, no, has no, no, no. We, no, don't, don't excuse that, like, especially... I can, uh, I'm not excusing it, I'm no. being forgiving and not judgmental. I don't know this man. I don't know what befell him. Can be a bit but his mistakes aren't for us to be like, hey, hey, look at you. What's the old saying? Remove the plank from your own eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't mean oh, look, if he's trying to improve himself, it's when they're unrepentant. And that's what I'm like. Tell you what, he improved Star Wars sequels. <laughs> <clears throat> prequels, I mean. So I, look, that's I, all I, did, I enjoyed him as Obi Wan in the original one here. And look, I think it's a. Thank goodness they have you and McGregor in a, you know an Obi Wan show, but. It just doesn't feel like it'll fit in the law, I in the canon. Either. Yeah. But anyway, let's let's begin, shall we? Just loud enough. I can hear it. Um. I'm guessing that's Tatooine. Yeah. Another desert planet. <laughs> yeah. No, it's the same desert planet. <laughs> yeah, <we're> another. <laughs> it's actually. We need. Before, yeah, revisit Tatooine is nice, member berries, you know, prequels, are, of course, and we have to go to Tatooine because, uh, yeah, that's where um, he came from. But there are so many planets, so many biospheres and everything like that. To be fair, they it's just, the Obi-Wan show. Yeah, I know. Like, that's where he's meant to be. Just, you, were just, was you, were just, you were just complaining he can't go to other planets. He shouldn't. It's just that, aren't you tired of Tatooine by now? Was, Absolutely. Was, <laughs> excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> How many shows has it been? Yes. And, uh, and, we, and when we can't get Tatooine, they'll just make a clone of Tatooine and call it... Like Jakku. Jakku. Mm. Or whatever the hell the Halo TV show planet is. Or or, or, or what the planet where they have the, uh, the, the I don't know, the um, hippie uh, the disco uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Burning meeting, Man, Burning Man Burning thing. Man. Again, Tatooine. I know it wasn't, but it's basically Tatooine. Well, don't forget just, the one from Rogue One. I remember when CGI was coming through and they said, we can make anything we want now. <laughs> it's limitless. We can make whatever we want. And all they've made consistently mm. is just a desert planet. Yeah. Now, obviously, as Oz you know, was trying to call me out, obviously Obi-Wan would have to start in Tatooine because that's where he is. And yeah. so this is where it would be justified. But because we've seen so much Tatooine, it's just... It's not interesting. It's like... Yeah, we've seen it already. This isn't drawing me in. You know what they could do? Is uh, make it relatively uneventful in the present time for Obi-Wan, but have flashbacks. You know? Oh, We've got Clone Wars stuff. Yeah. yeah. Why not? That'd be awesome. And that's what I like. I've heard good things about the Clone Wars show. And look, I've enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm not saying it's objectively phenomenal or anything, but I have enjoyed watching Clone Wars. The thing is, though... Live action adaptations are so crap. I just don't, if there's anything that's good, don't let them touch it. Just well, they don't need to do it, the stuff. Leave it alone. Wars, but just do, you know, things about events oh, that he no. had in his life. Early life events. The fight is done. We lost. I was gonna say, like, you know, I think that's justified in being defeatist. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, everyone he got cut. He cut his best friend's legs off. Yeah, yeah. Shad. He, if I... you cut my legs off, you'd be pretty distraught. Yeah, I was first wondering if he should be like, um, there is hope because Luke is there yeah. and the Jedi can still come back. But maybe that could be the arc of this, where yeah. after the massive defeat, I could see that is pretty. <laughs> this is one of those times when the kind of. Uh, What's the what's the word I'm looking for? Grim the, darkness. The uh, depressed, you know, mm. um, disillusioned Jedi character would mm. be justified, Not as Luke. opposed to Luke, <laughs> the, well, the ever that. hopeful, you know, rebuild the Jedi Order. And my nephew has a bad dream, so I'm gonna attempt to kill him. Yeah. And I was just thinking, murder right, him. Take it into context. It's like, there is still one hope. And it's like, no, there's there's not. I mean, not until we get Ray Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it, Oz. Ray Skywalker. It's so offensive. It hurts my soul. Okay. 
Oh, oh, is it is it peeping Tom? Hmm. Gotcha. It's like Aunt May. Is it Aunt May? Aunt Aunt Brew. Aunt Brew. That's the one. It's like he's, he's a lonely guy. I mean, he's <laughs> in the desert. It's all about Uncle Owen. Does he have an internet connection? <laughs> he sees her boobs. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> There's the meme where it's like... <laughs> that looks like young Anakin, but I guess what they're going for... Like... That's his dad. So it would make sense. Yeah, it would. It would, like, you know. Does it feel like Luke, though? I guess, yeah, Luke, well, yeah, okay. Uh, you know. Stay hidden. There's the meme. <laughs> you just, hello there. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Using that there's the meme, we could do that and we'd be like, oh. There's the thing. <laughs> 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 ah, Duel of Fates. Jeez. The key. Yeah. Oh, to the hunting <laughs> Jedi. This patience. That dude's head looks ridiculous. I thought my head was wide and mm. pale. So, okay, yeah, Jedi hunting, um, Darth Vader knockoff kind of guy, but if he's like a Darth Vader... Do you want to see what that guy looked like in Rebels? Looked much better. Sure. Yeah, yeah, he does look better in Rebels. He looks a bit... Pudgy. Yeah, I was just not going to the gym these days. I but wonder what he's listening to. At least they've tried. <laughs> Don't give me that sad excuse, Shad. <laughs> Shad, you just know hire else? a skinnier guy. You know who else tried? Hitler. And bad things happened. You had to go there. I thought the well, I thought the worst possible example, but we're already looking at it, so I had to go to the next one. Streaming exclusively on Disney Plus. Ah, uh, no, I get exclusively. it. Exclusively. I don't use Disney. Well, I actually do. I think the high seas would disagree. <laughs> Yo ho, and a bottle of wine. <laughs> Jedi cannot help what they are. They cannot help what they are. Look, I guess from a, a dogmatic perspective, someone hunting them, yeah, they could get away with that, but that was one of the problems with the Jedi, I guess, and mm. that was the whole thing about Luke. He was he, Luke actually, well, to bear, they, they got rid of all the expanded universe, but he decided to change a certain flawed principles in the Jedi mm. because he saw that they led to the downfall. Like not having relationships. Good on Luke, you know? Yeah. Their compassion. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look, it's CIA. You don't get that reference. No, but uh, th that's that's the uncle yep. guy. Uh, same I, actor, by the way. It looked like the same actor. No, that's what I was yeah, yeah. Yeah, From so. the uh, prequels. So, uh, is it Benson? What's his name again? Uh, he's an Australian guy. I forget his name. Oh, yeah, I think I... Yeah, 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 I've seen him in other stuff as yeah, well. he's yeah. a good actor. Um, and, yeah, other... Yeah, because he's really... a trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Jedi mm -hmm. Code is like an itch. Hmm. So, they're... All right, the premise at the moment is that they're actively hunting Jedi. Okay. Okay. And they're on Tatooine, and they're getting caught. Hmm, hmm. If if the Empire even had a whiff that Obi Wan was might, there, there might be a way to justify it. Then that like he is that why Obi Wan has to leave the planet because they're tracking him down, and that could lead them to him to them to Luke, and so maybe. he has to get away from Luke so they don't find him. I could justify it. All right, maybe yeah. But also, uh, get to the Inquisitor lady. He cannot help. So that he's definitely off planet there. Well, he might not be. That could be Tatooine at night. But gee, yeah, he's trying to hide the fact he's a Jedi, and that's what it's dressed like. <laughs> it's just. Is that him? I can't really see it that well. If you wanted to change your identity and you had a beard, would you shave it to look different? That, that might help. I just like, thought about that then. You know, the best way to hide that he's a Jedi, he should like join that punk rock, you know, um, uh, cybernetic group, like, uh, and just get a fake arm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and. And the chrome bicycles, because that looks so out of place, you would never think of Jedi when you look at yeah, it. Yeah, you're hiding in, in retarded sight. Yeah. But at the same time, um, I have to disagree with you, Nathan. Some men should never, ever shave their beards. Ever. Ever. <laughs> it's just 
that's a big bite. Okay. Better not be a piece of hair because it's one's falling. <laughs> <laughs> Droid and Stormtrooper. Okay. Nothing. nothing. Um, that's definitely Coruscant or something. Where is he? So, okay. I haven't watched The Clone Wars, right? How many lightsaber using lackeys did the Empire have? Because in the original trilogy, it felt like it was only two. Mm. Emperor and Darth Vader. Yeah. Now there's like a whole so group of. From my inquisitors. understanding, it's a bit different because it's annoying. We had the legacy stuff, mm. and the Disney shelved a lot of that, and so they kind of pick and choose what they want. But so in Rebels, after the Empire comes into control, Vader basically has all these inquisitors, which are either people who's recruited who are Sith mm -hmm. um, associates or previous Jedi who he's turned to the dark side. Mm -hmm. and basically, their role is to extinguish all the Jedi. And once they've done that, basically, then they get rid of all the Inquisitors. Okay, so that's... kind of like, once the job's done, you don't need them anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's a very Sith move. Okay, right, yeah. all right. Uh, the lightsaber is spinning, and so that's from... That's from um, the Rebels. You'd have mm -hmm. a problem with that, too, because they levitate from it, too. Like a helicopter. No <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a kid's show! Yeah, a kid's show! <laughs> <laughs> that, and they're bringing it into live action. Okay, it's Star Wars. And it's a Filoni thing. It's a Filoni thing. Because he, he, yeah. Well, that looks pretty. So I want to go back to... Um, so, Sith Lady looks like Tatooine confronting someone. Maybe Obi-Wan's watching in the background. Well, here's the crazy thing, right? You can tell just by looking at the lady, she's clearly from the dark side. Okay, fine, that was bad. That but was you know bad. what? She actually, uh, the lore we do know about that character is um, she grew up on the south side of Coruscant. You know, inner city. <laughs> hmm. Symbols, another person. I'm not sure if everyone had the confrontation to nope. So, is this another bait and switch? Are they going to make, uh, yes, make a it new. Is. I guess it's all going to be about these other characters. Yep. Um, I'm getting. the Vader breath at the end. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Also you said limited streaming on Disney Plus. Hmm. What does that mean? But think <clears throat> about it, it would be fitting because um what do you call it? We got Boba Fett, we got um what were the other ones we got? Mando. Mando, but I'm talking about all the Disney Plus ones. Hawkeye. Oh, yeah, Hawkeye. They all said, you know, like, it's all about, they give you, sure, the name is in the series, mm. but they sideline the guy. Yeah, Loki as well. Yeah, this is why I, I'm not tr going to trust this trailer. Yeah, no if doubt. I was to judge this trailer alone, I'd have to say it's not terrible. I mean, it's got good production value. Um, you get to see Obi-Wan. It, it sets up that he's being hunted. And that's enough to, you know, have a premise to work with. But we have been lied to in trailers so much. Mm. Uh, that I'm not gonna be fooled again. You know, mm, fool yeah. me once. I'll wait for the sh series to show to see. But I mean, it's not the trailer isn't a dumpster fire, so there, there's that. But I'm worried that it is a, yeah, like we said, bait and switch. Mm. It's gonna be introduce other characters that, just like I did with Hawkeye, it's gonna be about you know. Yeah. Setting up another strong character. Can, can I just like, there's a bit of a pickle that I have with Star Wars, right? Mm -hmm. All these characters, right? You got uh, Ray, Luke, Uncle Owen, Obi Wan, like these four pasty white people who've been living in the desert for most of their life, right? Mm -hmm. And and they're still shown to be white. Are right. they like Jewish or something? Like, okay, okay. Now, now. I ran that joke by a Jewish person, by the way. You know, yeah. Cookie on Discord? Okay. He's one of the moderators for your Discord. Mm. And he said that was fine. And he is Israeli, right? 
He's in the uh, IDF. Yeah, he's my handler. So he gave you the Jew pass, did he? Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> now, yeah, so... Now, what concerns me about this, right? Mm -hmm. I heard some leaks, <clears throat> some leaks or some inside information was that they had an original script before where Obi-Wan basically had to take Luke and run away for a bit because Maul and his gang were going to mm -hmm. go and try intercept mm -hmm. that stuff. And they, were, they started to do pre-production. The guy, the actor for Maul, started to do training. And then John Favreau and Filoni came in and they're like, hang on, mysterious man with child. No, we're doing that in Mando. You've got to figure out um, the script to make it something different. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But did they say mysterious man with child? Were they doing that? <laughs> no, no, no. They were just like, you know, some hero guy with this kid he has to look after. And then Kathleen Kennedy got word of it and was like, hold on now. Get rid of them all. Bring in Vader. Because that's more of a fan service thing. And we'll have a cool duel with that. And then obviously you say now there's a lot more of some of the Inquisitors Vader, that are of Obi. Vader can't have a confrontation with Obi-Wan because they meet for the first time on the Death Star. Oh, well, no, no, no. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, he did say, I sense a presence. Something I haven't felt since last week. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think by having Vader come back, as much as it'd be cool to and see the line, fight... When we lost Vader, I was about to shoot, but now I am the master. <laughs> we talked like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we had this every six months. <laughs> you were still a student? Just <laughs> I learned a new move. <laughs> Very good at it. Emperor taught me. Uh, so I think it's going to take away from the original yeah, trilogy. And the track record, anything that Kathleen Kennedy touches is utter garbage. And so... Hmm. Look, I will judge it on its merits when it comes out, okay? And just judging by the trailer by itself, like I said, it's not terrible, but I, I, that's not good. I'm not getting... We'll wait until it comes out, and then we'll see. Uh, it's just, it's more of the same. Yeah. When no one's fallen... Well, people do keep falling for it. Yeah, yeah people love it because of the music, and you see, you know, McGregor back Mem as Obi-Wan. Member Berries. Yeah. Like, hey, Inquisitor! <sighs> Yeah. Anyway, damn, that was quick. <laughs> we I mean, went... There wasn't much to say really because we're talking mm. about Disney for ages now. It's kind of wait and see. Well, we know we're, we're expecting the worst. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm, that would be our warning: is like, don't be fooled by the trailer, people. I'm just glad we have that interesting um, black female Inquisitor because there's not enough representation for black female villain characters in 2022. You think? <laughs> We need more. If anything, I'd have every single character be a black female character. Every single one. Every single one, hey? Well, except the villain, that'd be a white male. <laughs> Cisgendered. Yeah. Alright, yeah. um, there we go. We'll see you next time, so stay on watch.